Hello everyone and welcome to another cosplay special for Deadbolt Dragons. My name is Woofy and today I'll be taking you through my Pride and Joy cosplay, Macho Man or Macho King, Randy Savage. Oh yeah! So everybody, I'm just going to let you take a little glimpse of everything and I'm going to give you a quick rundown of all the items that are used for this cosplay. So brief overview of the general items that are not just tailored to this, like uh, my new rock boots that I use mainly for cosplay purposes now, they've lost their meaning as actual boots. And of course, the gloves unless you're good with gold fabric and can, you can make your own. But that's the general items that cross over from my Scorpion cosplay as well, because reuse is absolutely amazing. But let's get to the more specialist items in this set. So guys, um, first item we have is obviously the Randy Savage t-shirt. Now, mine's not an official one from WWE, it comes with the stars on the shoulders, but a general Macho Man themed t-shirt is a definite for this cosplay. Next up is the jacket. Oh, this, is, this comes from recycling an old leather jacket that I thought was on the way out and adding gold fabric tassels. I know they're not completely um, accurate to the Macho Man, his were like right down to his waist, but this is a pretty good start. See there on the other side, get a closer look, that's gold fabric, it's definitely good for twirling about, unfortunately it does fray a little, um, and if I had any uh, knowledge of what to do to stop that fraying, I'd do it. Uh, on the back, the design work, all done by me, um, no stencils, I just basically went to work. Um, Snap into it, obviously a Slim Jim campaign, on the front, cream of the crop, I mean you can't see it but there you go, there you go, cream of the crop. Uh, stars on both sides, and down this arm, Macho Man, on the shoulder there, Slim Jim. And on the back, his accomplishments, WWE Hall of Fame 2015, catchphrases, oh yeah, stars, dig it, stars, mega powers, NWO, stars, and on this side, one time WWF Intercontinental Champion, Two-time WWF Champion, four-time WCW Champion, Stars, and the Macho King, Team Madness, which I remember because I started being a wrestling fan in 99 and Randy was in the middle of doing his Team Madness deal, where he came back as a heel. And that's absolutely fantastic and obviously I've added all the accents into the lining of the jacket but basically recycling work with old jackets and stuff it's definitely recommended you can breathe new life into them but basically guys that's my jacket now general hat or crown if you go into the Macho King lately I did uh, debut Macho King Randy Savage uh, and I used this cardboard crown now, it's not that sturdy and doesn't uh, handle sweat very well. And at the event that I was at, I was sweating quite a lot. So this got battered. I've had to kind of breathe a bit of new life into it with more tape and more paint. But generally, that's really easy to make. You just measure your head and then do the rest. Um, so there's that. With the Macho King's hat, I just found a normal, normal hat. Um, 
trimmed off the little ribbon at the top and used that to make a little tail at the end because Randy always wore a bandana and it was way down there but I've got not got any material that's long enough for that. And the gold is just some of the same gold fabric I used for the tassels and wrap, uh, cut it to a bandana size and then wrapped it around my hat and then tied the tassel to it at the end. And on the side, dig it. Or the other side, oh yeah. I've tried to modify this hat a little bit more to suit the Macho Man. You gotta be really careful. If you can, glue down the bandana, fabric bandana, because it does have a tendency to move around and fall off if you're not too careful. And now an important part of Randy Savage's act the sunglasses. These are a pair of Rasslaw sunglasses. I've, in a past Randy Savage video, I have actually um, provided a link to Rasslaw sunglasses on Etsy. If you can, these are the best Randy Savage type sunglasses that you can get, get hold of. And they are such great quality. Um, you might have to tighten the screws a little bit, but these are such great quality sunglasses. You can actually see out of them through the, through the stickers. And it's just so high quality, I mean, look. Look at that craftsmanship. The stickers are awesome. I can't have nothing bad to say about the stickers. I mean, these are very, very high quality glasses and I really recommend Rasslaw. So if you're on Etsy, search up Rasslaw sunglasses and if you're thinking about doing a Randy Savage cosplay or just want some cool looking sunglasses in general, I suggest going to him. Added note about this cosplay, guys. Um, I use a pair of my own jeans for this. Um, I don't recommend it. It's just convenient for me, and that's why I use it. Um, if you can, go on eBay and find yourself some customised um, gold and black or whatever colours you're using for the Macho Man uh, wrestling tights. Uh, they work just as well. Um, edit them a little to suit your needs, suit your cosplay needs, but while it's convenient for me to use jeans, I don't suggest using jeans. For Macho King cosplayers only, I mean I only suggest this for Macho King because it only works for him, uh, a scepter. Um, this is just a very hokey last minute scepter that I put together. Um, get a little closer to see. Uh, that is from a tube of cling film because I discovered that the cardboard tube in there is very, very sturdy and it's very good. So I took that out and painted it gold. Put the one little strip of cardboard around there to give it some look and just painted that gold. Uh, masking tape and newspaper, painted that gold for the, for the uh, pommel on the end. And for the top. Now, if you can find a clear bouncy ball or a clear ball in general, get one of those. This is for convenience sake and I don't think it takes away from the scepter's look at all. Uh, if you're going to use hot glue to put this together you might find a little bit of um, difficulty in keeping the bouncy ball attached to the stick. Um, I mean I've had to cut this down and cut into it just to keep the um, cardboard and the bouncy ball together and now it works really well. Before I had a problem with it almost always constantly breaking and if you've got a better method for this use that and now for optional props and everything uh, oh. there's no outtakes that's just there it's gonna stay in the video uh, microphone you might want to paint yours black to match the WWF microphones uh, this is just um, for a skit I'll be doing at Alcon this year um, and so I've got myself a nice little silver microphone, so you want to do a little promo and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, not required or anything, just, you know, there if you, there if you want to do extra. And of course, while well, Randy didn't hold that many titles when he was in WWF and WCW, a championship belt. This one I call the... Uh, the Anime League Hardcore Championship and obviously I've based it off 
the intercontinental design that Randy once wore. And since it's got more a worn look and everything likes to keep coming apart, I've named it a hardcore title. Yeah. And everything. Oh, by the way, just a side note. It's made out of a Yu-Gi-Oh mat, several, and it's signed by X the Dark One, Masco X, Little Karibo, Shady Fox, of the of Yu-Gi-Oh abridging fame. But back to the belt itself. This is a great accompanying piece, but again, it's not essential. Now we'll launch into me wearing the cosplay and giving you a complete 180 and, oh yeah, that kind of works. Um, yeah, 180 of the cosplay, see me wearing it. Um, any comments, any, um, any advice or any questions you want to ask, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, we'll see you right after this. So guys, I've got the cosplay mostly on and um, yeah, um, I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, go for the Macho King first, Ma Macho Man first, even. So, yeah, there's that. Jacket flows perfect. Sometimes it the tassels clash, but that's okay. Uh, title belt goes perfect. I mean, look at that, I got the whole shebang on here. Uh, put that down for a second, flip out for a bit. Um, all right, I have to be very, very careful about this as I have long hair and it likes to get in the way. See if I was delivering a five minute promo, I'd tell you how much I hated you, and I'm gonna leave your guts all over the mat at WrestleMania. Yeah! <laughs> so, you know, guys, that's pretty much the cosplay, and uh, I'll take you to a brief outro for a second. I hope you enjoyed this video. So guys, that was my Macho Man Randy Savage cosplay, or the Macho King. And I wanted to cosplay Randy Savage for a long time since a very good friend of mine actually um, in introduced me to the idea and I really liked it, I really wanted to do it. And it became even more so knowing that he was going to be going in the Hall of Fame this year. It's a very emotional ceremony watching Lanny introduce his brother to the Hall of Fame. But that's the stuff, and take the take my advice. Um, new rock boots um, use only if they're the only option. If you can get a hold of some replica wrestling boots, those will work great. Um, jeans, again, I don't recommend it. Um, if you can find some gold and black or whatever colors you're using to do Randy Savage, if you're doing a Randy Savage cosplay, pick whatever colors you like. I just went with black and gold. For so for my sake, if I wanted to do it more authentically, I'd get some replica black and gold wrestling tights and I'd modify them to be more Randy Savage-ish or whatever the term is. Uh, the gloves, um, they're great, don't get me wrong. Um, if you want to be even more authentic, you could obviously tape your hands with white tape or measure some gold fabric for your hands and make some makeshift gloves. But apart from that, everything else is pretty on point. Um, again, I recommend Rassler sunglasses for the sunglasses. Um, 
the crown, you might want to make it out of a more sturdier wood, no, not wood, uh, cardboard than I did. Because mine can't take the sweating very well, and unfortunately the event I took it to, I sweat quite a lot, and it didn't hold up as well as I wanted. Um, the jacket. If you can find an old leather jacket and just recycle it, not not throw it away, just recycle it, and then somehow attach some fabric tassels to it. I mean, go ahead and do it, man. Unless you, of course, want to do classic Randy Savage. Um, in which case, uh, a modified bed sheet and a million sequins and uh, just a little bit of creativity. Um, don't know why you would, but if you were gonna do Team Madness, Randy, um, just get yourself some a black top and black trousers and black boots and black tape and put silver stars all over it. That's, a, that's how easy it is to do Madness ever, Randy. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was insightful for you on how I did my Randy Savage cosplay. Uh, I will see you in the next video. I still haven't picked a topic for rants yet, but that will be my next video. And I'll see you on the flip side. Thank you for watching. Thanks so much. Like, love, share, caress my channel. Subscribe. Peace. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and everything. And if you could for a moment to check out my other videos on my channel and if you haven't already subscribe and keep it here for deadbolt dragons peace